Hey what's up everyone, so in this video we're going to take a look at a newly released Figma plugin called Dora AI. So this plugin gives you the ability to generate any web designs layout directly in Figma. So I'm going to take a deeper look at this to see how it works and also share some of my thoughts and tips of how to get the best results out of it. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Figma and in order to access to the plugin, you just need to click here and search for Dora AI. So the user interface is pretty simple. So we have a prompt here so where you can input to describe your website. Actually, it's more like a landing page, uh, like a one pager. Um, so we have a surprise me button here. So I guess when you click here, it could just give you some random uh, prompts and style selected for you. I think this is for the purpose of um, explorations, uh, experiments with different things. Uh, and down here, you can also like select some particular style that you prefer. And down here is the generate button. So it will give you four previews, like four options, and it will cost you 20 credits. And down here is show the total credit that you have. As you can see, I got plenty to play around. So let's try something. The first thing I want to try is this surprise me buttons. So I just want to see uh, what it's going to give me with some random picks. Uh, so maybe this one, a landing page for a fairy tale, the little prince wearing green suit. And let's select a different style to mix it up. And then click generate. Uh, normally it takes um, about 15 seconds to generate four options for you. Um, so here we have four options uh, for the style that we picked. Uh, so I think it's mix up the inputs, the green from the prompts and the orange and the, the, the kind of pastel tone from the style that we picked and create these four options. And you can click on any of these and it will start generate the full versions. So also that will cost you another 20 credits. So this step would take a little bit longer because it would generate every layer of the website that you just selected. As you can see now, it's starting to generate the layers and the text and all of the components for you. It also comes with the mobile version as well. Alright, so here we have the full page that is have just generated. So at the first glance, I think it's looking pretty nice on the desktop versions. I like the visual it generated and also the color combinations. It's, it kind of gives you the idea of a unique look and feel, which is a pretty good start to build on top of it. In terms of the details, it kind of gives you the pretty decent common web components like the hero banners, like this uh, two columns layout like this. Uh, you can spot some of the area is pretty random here, um, but I can see that it gives you a pretty decent uh, footers. The mobile version is a little bit busy, probably because of the long text. Um, so I think the desktop version is more successful. Overall, I think it's a good start. Uh, so now let's go back to the generate panel to try something else. So I'm going to try some topic that represent a real life project, something that you can encounter every day in your uh, work life, um, just to see how it's going to turn out. So something like a luxury beach resort and uh, maybe an immersive uh, hero banners, uh, full fleet hero banners, uh, wide background, every layout and vivid uh, imagery. And let's select none for the styles and generate. All right, so we have four options here. At this glance, I think it's looking pretty nice. So I kind of prefer the first one. So let's select this and generate a full page. All right, so let's see what we have here. Um, so overall, I think the look and feel is pretty spot on. Uh, it really feels like a luxury resort website and they have this kind of vacation vibe going on here. I like how it provided some negative space to create the airy feelings and the use of image is also pretty uh, on point. But it's kind of missing the level of details and the consistent between these typo and components and some elements appear to be pretty random. So of course it's not going to give you a perfect result. So you will need to spend some time to refine it more. So here I'm showing you how I use the design it generated as a base and started to build on top of it. So I tweak some typo and update some image and also update the layout to 
uh, make it work better. And here is the final result, a elegant landing page ready to show your clients. So I think the best use case for this is when you start exploring a new design, a new concept, you don't want to spend too much time on collecting the image or find inspirations or find the right color combinations. So instead of spending all of those time, you use this plugin to generate a bunch of different options for you to experiment. So you can get around quickly and pick the best one and build on top of it. I think that's going to really boost your creative process and save you a lot of time. And once you finish, you can go to the plugin tab and search for the Figma tutorial plugin. And this one is going to let you to transfer all of the design from Figma to Dora platform and ready to be implemented. And then you can go to the Dora platform and create a new project. And from here, all you have to do is to paste all of the layers that you just copy into this canvas. And voila, we have this full landing page here in Dora. So now you can start bringing it to life. So you can check out my other tutorial where I show you how to build a full landing page with Dora as well as to integrate 3D into the page to get it to the next level. So this is the end of my video today. So I hope you find this one helpful and I will see you in the next one.